What's going on guys? Welcome to today's oatmeal update. That's what it looks pretty fire. It's apple cinnamon protein oatmeal, little drizzle organic honey with some bananas. Get your day start off right. Wash it down with black coffee. Today we're going to talk about a few things. Obviously, we're going to talk about the Bitcoin price action. We're going to talk about Ethereum Big spot ETF, and we're going to talk about Google and allowing ads for the crypto space. So let's dive right into it. You know, Bitcoin. Bitcoin had a nice rally last night up to $26,480. It washed out about $225 million of short sellers, and now it has retraced it all the way back down as low as $25,675 and currently sitting at 25,800 with the stock futures about break even. Stock futures are a little bit red. If stocks have another red day today and Bitcoin just had another failed rally and we're sitting back here at the at the lows, I think we're finally going to get the sell off. In order for a bullish count to still remain in play, we've been saying it for a while, we need to hold 23,800 to 24,200 for the bullish count to remain in play. Then we will move up to thirty-five to forty-five thousand. Go sideways to lower into the happening. Then we get the Bitcoin spot ETF in January or March of 2024. We get the Bitcoin halving in April of 2024, and there we go. We're off to the races. Now this kind of parlays into the next topic. Everybody was so excited the past two days. Ark is filing for the Ethereum spot ETF. Holy cow! Hold your horses. We don't even have a Bitcoin spot ETF yet. I think best case scenario, you get an Ethereum spot ETF in May of 2024. Like I just said, you get the Bitcoin spot in January or March. You get the Bitcoin having in April and you get the Ethereum spot ETF in May. But realistically, I think we'd be lucky to get an Ethereum spot ETF by the end of 2024. Don't let these little news articles, these headlines get your attention. There is a process. There is no rush from the SEC and there's no finite regulatory framework just yet from the courts on to get these things approved. Also the big dogs, the black rocks, the institutions, the fidelities, they want to scoop up all your coins cheap. You think they're going to make it that easy on you? No. And then the last topic for today's oatmeal update is Google ads. If you have been here for a while, Google banned the ads of all cryptocurrencies for a very long time, hindering the ability of us to get to new retail users. Well, now they just announced they will be allowing NFT gaming sector projects to now advertise with Google ads. This is one of the cheapest and most efficient ways to get user acquisition and to get follow through on call to actions. That's why this is important. This has not started just yet. This starts on September 15th. So look for GameFi and potentially even GambleFi projects to stand ahead above the others and lead the market as they are going to be able to finally advertise on Google ad placements. I think this is very important. It's a nice step for Google. Hopefully we see we see the likes of Facebook and these other kind of bottlenecks for crypto advertisements being lifted a bit and the real legitimate projects are allowed to get cheap user acquisition just like all the other traditional companies out there. So let's recap. Bitcoin back down to the lows, gave up all the gains from yesterday but did wash out 225 million shorts. Stocks are a slightly red in the pre-market Still have 30 more minutes until the market opens. If NASDAQ goes down another 150, and I just don't see how Bitcoin is going to hold these lows, we need to stay above 23,800 to 24,200 for the bullish count to be in play. Also, we're seeing data that Bitcoin miners are selling more Bitcoin than they are holding. Obviously, they're trying to prep for the next quarterly earning calls for their stock shareholders. And the Bitcoin hash rate is at new all-time highs, it seems, on a daily basis, which means they are earning less and less Bitcoin. Then we got Google allowing NFT gaming ads. We'll see what is allowed in that, but keep an eye on GameFi and GambleFi sector in crypto. I think you can find an edge there and some alpha there. And then don't get your hopes up for an Ethereum spot ETF. I think May of 2024 at the absolute earliest, and we'd be lucky to get one by the end of 2024. That's today's oatmeal update, guys. Make sure to hit that like, share, subscribe button. If you want 24-7 access to myself and Todd Butterfield, all of our trades, all of our answers, join us at patreon.com slash learn crypto. And until next time, stay tuned for your daily updates on crypto and stock technical analysis, fundamental analysis, and news right here at Learn Crypto.